Hey guys, and welcome to a Harry Tarantula pack opening video. My name is Bo, and I'm joined today by... Hi guys, I'm Richard. Alright, so let's rip this bad boy open. So what we're looking here for today are those new Rayquazas in the set, some good trainer cards, all sorts of fun stuff. Alright, oh. starting off with pack number one, there's our boy Rayquaza. Ooh. Ready, happy with that first card. Now let's just go ahead and make sure that's set aside. Ooh, Wismer. Ooh. And an Ultra Beast in our first pack. Nice. Energy. Uncommon. 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 It's pretty good for our first pack. All right, let's move on. Oh, nice. That's pretty sweet. And a Reggie Ice, not bad. Put that there. Uh, uncommon, uncommon. Energy. Uncommon, uncommon. Ooh, a Hal. Magic players, what does that remind you of? Uh, draw three cards? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, so recall for the win. That's what's great about Pokemon is like you know, if you if you've played Magic and you played Pokemon, you get this you get a real sense of uh, how uh, older Magic uh, formats were played, like Vintage, where you're just like, all right, let's just do some fun stuff. Yeah, that, it says something when like Ancestral Recall is considered a bad draw spell in this game. <laughs> Ooh, shiny saber. Ooh, nice. Oh, what is that? Sack Attack of GX. That is gorgeous. Yeah. So this Pokemon's actually a series of living bricks that form a chimney. Because Ultra Beasts are weird. <laughs> so it's like Exodia? Kind of. Yeah. Except with bricks. Nice. Pretty good trainer cards, too. Acrobike. What's that one do again? So Acrobike, uh, look at the top two cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand and discard the other one. Sort of like a sight of hand effect. Magic players know that one. Let's move on to the next pack. We should definitely do a shout out to our, our homeboy Shervin. Oh yeah. Who uh, loves to generate Pokemon decks. He does. <laughs> he did play in that uh, competitive event a couple of months back too. Yep. Ooh, my boy Wingle. That's your boy. That's my boy. I'm a milk tank boy. Ooh, Mr. Mime GX. Nice. This is already a good pack. Life Trick GX. Heal all damage from this Pokemon. You can't use more than one GX. Hmm. Interesting GX effect. I think any heal effect is really strong in this game. Yeah. Like, it's just one of those uh, things. Like, when I was playing Pokemon more regularly... Uh, I think I was retreating my, like, Pokemon, then, like, just putting something new out, like, almost every turn, mm -hmm. and it was just because it was a combo deck, and mm -hmm. that's what you were supposed to do, and just heal it all up. Oh, nice. that is pretty good. This is one thing I do like about the Pokemon arts, is that they'll do things like this. For example, yeah. that's just straight up, like, a little stuffed toy. Like, yeah. that's cool. Exploud. Nice. Energy. Trainer cards. Not bad, not bad. Our Pokemon scene here is starting to build up pretty nicely, too. We get players almost every week looking for Zingles. Oh, there's a non foil of that Wismer. Ooh, foil Lurball. I'm sorry, reverse hollow. That's the uh, terminology. Yeah. Ye old, if you call it reverse. <laughs> Ooh, Tain Liza. 
So choose one, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five, or suit your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Not bad. That's actually really good. Yeah. That, like, having two modes on a card in Pokemon is really strong. Mm-hmm. Bills maintenance. Shuffle a card from your hand into your deck. If you do, draw three cards. Imagine that in magic. Uh, no. <laughs> I like I like fair formats. That seems like an unfair card. Nope, oh, there's my boy again. Oh, look at that spoink. That's some cool art. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, super cute. Chinchou. Onyx. Uh, that's some old school art that they brought back. Wow. That I remember that. That's more like that's art from like when Wizards yeah. still owned uh, the Pokemon. Uh, Way back game. in the day. Friend ball. Nice, nice. Bonnet. Ooh, copycat. There's another example of some old art that made a return. Ooh, Huntail. He's funky looking. Big bite. Defending Pokemon can't retreat during your next opponent's turn. So is that like a mohawk on his head or a giant diamond? I think it's a fin. I like my ideas better. <laughs> Shup it. Do you like mudkips? Who doesn't love mudkips? <laughs> oh, look at that Alolan Rattata. He has a moustache. A moustache? A moustache. Oh, slack off. <laughs> Looks like my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Shiny. I really like how the f uh, how the foiling on these cards look. It reminds me of like the old school magic foils. Yeah. Hey, wizards, take a note. <laughs> on what you guys used to do. <laughs> Ooh, hollow metagross. That's nice. Nice. Oh, there's Stefan in the background. That's cool. Ooh, our boy's grown up. Sky Pillar? Nope, nope, let's go here. Still no Rayquaza yet, though. Well, I mean, we've opened two GXs so far. Not bad. I mean, the, uh, the, the last time I opened a box, I think I pulled, like, six uh, EXs. Nice. I mean, I haven't, I haven't played in a while, so... Jex is a whole new fancy for me. Another one of those stuffed toys is art. Nice. What is it? A little nose? It's a little uh, heartfish. It's a little oh. loverfish. Nice. Ooh, Malile. I always like that Pokemon's design. Sort of a take on like a uh, praying mantis. Or not praying mantis. Um, what's the name of the flower? Oh, man. Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap. Okay. Quite all. <clears throat> oh, he's an angry boy. Remember to flip the back over. <laughs> Ooh. Rainbow energy. Oh, wow! Foil legendary creature. Full right. metal body. If this Pokemon has any energy attached to it, it has no weakness. That seems pretty good. That seems really good. Yeah. Two energy of any color, or two steel energy, I believe, and one of any color. This attacks isn't affected by resistance. That seems really good. Oh, man. That was a cool pack. Matang. Not bad. Apricot maker and a hiker. So in the game, he actually uh, photobombs you when you meet the specific hiker. Oh, is it some um, from... Um, oh, what was the last Pokemon game that they released on? Uh, uh, Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon. And also Ultra Sun and Moon. Yeah. I can't remember which ones that I have, but it's entertaining. Mm-hmm. It's like, it looks like Hawaii, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the aesthetic of it. Yeah, it's it was different than uh, like a lot of the other ones. Ooh, ball toy. Look at the effect of the foiling on that. That looks that super nice. cool. You know, it looks like uh. Ooh, and a Kyogre. Nice. Dual splash. This attack does thirty damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. 
Nice. So it hits one of the benched ones, too? Always a strong ability. Mm -hmm. The second you can attack your opponent's bench, it provides, like, some solid, uh, like, just attacks in general. Mm -hmm. uh, even though you're not really attacking, it's an ability effect that... It's a fantastic effect in the game. Yeah. It just lets you deal with more than one threat at once. Yeah. Which is really good. But gone. Oh, wow. Two Tricos in one pack. And two Whismers in one pack. Oh, nice. Ooh, what is that? So this is a Prism card. Um, so Prism have a special rule. You can have you cannot have more than one Prism card in your with the same name in your deck. The Prism card will go back to the discard pile, put it into the into the Lost Zone instead. So okay. Exile. Huh. What does that one particularly do? So Latias, so her ability is Dreamy Mist. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each of your ba basic bench Pokemon. So essentially ramps you up. That's really good, actually. That's why you're allowed one in your deck. <laughs> oh, nice. A rare candy. Always good. Nice staple card, you know. It's one of those cards that's owls and standard, along with like Ultra Bar Ball and stuff. Yeah. It's also surprisingly like one of those cards that we sell out of consistently. Yeah. Ooh, Clown Pearl. Evolutionary Advantage. If you go second, this Pokemon can evolve during your first turn. That seems cool. That's pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, my boy Whale Lord. Energy. Almost halfway through the box. Well, that's really cute art. Nice. Another Rayquaza pack. That one opened kind of weirdly. Yeah, it did. I mean, at least it's not like a Battle Bond pack. Oh man, those ones are legitimately just tough to open. Another one of those really nice foils. Ooh, wow! Hello. Lazakin GX. Blaze out GX. Discard two energy cards from your opponent's Pokemon. You can't use more than one GX attack per game. That's really cool looking too. Marsh. That nukes a lot of like, uh, I guess, uh, abilities that like require like two or even like three. Because yeah. it's not like you know, losing energy time locks you so much in this game. Yeah. And then there's some decks that can just literally function without it, so, I mean... Mm -hmm. Is that an acorn? Yeah, it's a sea dot. He's a living acorn. Oh, Deoxys, that's cool. Teleportation nice. burst. You may switch the this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Seems useful. I always enjoy that with uh, Psychic uh, Pokemon. They always have these like niche abilities. Yeah. Like to my to my homeboy like uh, Pikachu. Mhm. Mm that card's gas. Yeah. Like the one from a cup. I guess it was last block. Mhm. Mm uh, the really strong one that was just like. Uh, Every deck, I think, was playing Mewtwo just because it was so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mewtwo is one of those cards that, like, consistently, you know, I always get a pretty strong card. But, like, he's everyone's fan favorite. He has to be He has to be good. Yeah. Pokenav. Slyther. Oh, that's the halfway point. Pretty good so far. Lots of cool-looking GXs and stuff.
There's that old school Onyx again. There's your Eggcorn boy again. Ooh, the Mast Royal. Attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your stage 2 grass, fire, or water Pokemon. So it ramps you when you're in certain colors. Yeah. And the fairy energies looks really cool too. Ooh, Beast Balls. Super good for the Ultra Beast decks. Skitty. Ooh, another Prism card. Wish Upon a Star. If you took this Pokemon as a Facetown prize card during your turn, and your bench is in full before you put it into your hand, you may put it onto your bench and take one more prize card. Wow, that's really good, actually. That is actually really good. Accelerates you forward if you're going for a Pie Ice card win. Another Beast Ball. Oh man, that Whalemon looks like he's having a lot of fun. <laughs> All it needs is like a penguin with a top hat in it. He's so happy. This is more than one Bellsprout. But that's a problem with Bellsprouts. They always come in packs of more than one. Oh, that's true. Ooh, Bagon. Nice. Another Acro Bike. Oops, gonna have to fix that one in post. Because that happens in 17 minutes. Looks like our foil might be a full art. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was right. Scissor GX. Dangerous Perception, or Danger Perception. With this Pokemon's remaining HP is 100 or less, its attacks do 80 per or 80 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's pretty good. That's insane. Sort of like a really risky play, but I like it. Combined with some kind of healing effect, you can probably keep a very solid damage output going. There's Ancestral Howe again. But yeah, in Pokemon, you don't really want to be doing draw effects, like windfall effects and wheel <coughs> effects are more powerful. Because mm -hmm. usually you can dump your entire hand fairly early. So drawing just three seems underwhelming. And you say that to a Magic the Gathering player, like, what? Three cards. Yeah, but you look at some of the more powerful draw spells in Magic, like uh, Sphinx's Revelation, Brain Geysers, Blue Sun Zenus, uh they're always going to net you more value. Mm -hmm. Memory jar. We don't discuss that card. <laughs> Ooh. Rock. I like all the Reggie cards. I remember the first time I found them in, uh, I believe it was Sapphire was the game. I thought they were the coolest thing. The Reggie cards? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're correct. It was Sapphire. And they are awesome. Like you, They have just this uh, quality to them. You're like, alright. I think the coolest thing about them was that in Sapphire, you had to go through like this uh, sort of mystery hunt to find them. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sapphire is a great game. Mm -hmm. And so is what Emerald was part of that one too. Yep, right? Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire. Yeah, Emerald's my favorite. Sapphire is fun though. Mm -hmm.
Oh, a happy whale emerged to greet us. Ooh. Nice. Reggie Steele. Another Tate and Lisa. Bill's Maintenance. And a Cactur. Decent pack. Yeah. So I can't remember. If there, is there a draft format for Pokemon? I don't think there's a draft format, but there is a sealed format. So, for example, yeah. all the pre releases we do are sealed. Oh, that's correct. There's probably a way to draft Pokemon, though. I mean, it's 15 card packs, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could easily draft this. I mean, energy would be awkward, but. Uh... Yeah. Woohoo! We got Ooh. there. Rayquaza Rainbow Rare. Bam. Look at that. That is Tempest gorgeous. GX. Here, tilt it, tilt it up, tilt. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That is, that is so nice. Really nice. We got there. Tempest GX. Discard your hand and draw 10 cards? That is nuts. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. It's crazy. Well, he gets his own spot in the corner. <laughs> Ancestral Hell. That seems underwhelming compared to that. <laughs> draw 10 cards. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So good. And he's a basic Pokemon, too, so you can start off with him. Like, the power creep in Pokemon is very real. Uh, and But the stories is, 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 like, as Pokemon get stronger, they are just stronger. Mm hmm Except Pikachu. Except Pikachu. Poor Pikachu. Yep. Ash needs to get his uh, Ash. Whoa! Here. Oh, nice. Nice. This is a really good pack. Really good box. Rainbow Brush. Hold it. Oh, well, <clears throat> thank you, Richard. You're welcome. <clears throat> Two dudes opening Pokemon on a Sunday night. Sounds like there should be a song about this. <laughs> None of us. We can't sing, though. No. No. Vigoroth. I like how that evolution line, the youngest of it is super lazy, and the oldest one is super lazy, but the teenage version is all angry and brooding. Angsty teenagers. What a shocker. Ooh, nice. What is that? What is that one? Steelix. Kind of looks like an Onyx, but... Yeah, it evolves from an Onyx, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa, foil Deoxys is... Nice. Hello, island. I mean, water. <laughs> water. <laughs> Actually, that's one thing I do really like about Pokemon, is the fact that your energy is a part of the deck, unlike other card games where you just get your resources for free. Like Hearthstone? Like Hearthstone. But it's quite obvious that Wizards did design the game, because the energy system is very similar to the, magic si or to the mana system in that regard. Um, if I recall correctly, in the original rule booklet back in 19... 99 mm -hmm. uh energy was basically mana uh you you played it like mana really you, yeah you didn't attach it to uh pokemon way back when interesting and it made for some awkward draws let oh. me just tell you that mm -hmm. I guess Pokemon's coming up on their uh, 20th anniversary soon, isn't it, aren't they, for the card game? I believe so, yeah. I don't know if they're going to do anything fancy for that. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, so many children have watched Pokemon and grown up and now collect Pokemon cards. Well, I think the thing about Pokemon is that, like, each year there's new generation of kids who are like, wow, Pokemon's actually really cool. 
it's, yeah. it's probably one of the most transgenerational games. Oh, for sure. I think even I think the TV series helps a lot. With it really too. does. Like I, like I will sit down and enjoy a couple of the first couple of seasons of uh, Pokemon, but when I watch the newer seasons, I'm not that much interested mm -hmm. uh, because it doesn't speak to me anymore. It's mm -hmm. it's just the way it is. But you know, my friends' kids and that they sit down and we love it. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think a cool thing is like. Pokemon especially is that like after you're done with your Pokemon game cards when you're a kid and maybe you move on to a different card game like Magic or something mm -hmm. like you have this deck that you can just give to like one of your younger cousins oh, or like yeah. your uh, For sure. little brother and they're gonna love it because it's yep. Pokemon. I think I ended up giving up most of my Pokemon cards to my cousin. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now I think he's he's now in his. Uh, mid 20s and is starting a family so nice you know hopefully in a couple of years he'll give his pokemon cards if he still has them to uh his children that'll be great he ran that card is gorgeous yeah oh the reflection is so nice wizards please fix your foiling process pokemon I... company you're a plus <laughs> <laughs> Two packs left. All right. All right. Left or right? Ooh, left. All right. Ooh, two bagons. Nice. Life herb. Flip a coin if heads it deals it heals sixty and remove all special conditions from one of your Pokemon. Not bad actually because of the special conditions, but the coin flip it makes it a bit inconsistent, unfortunately. Yeah. The Master Royale. That's super cute. Oh my god. Is that a bumblebee? It's a bumblebee. That is so cute. All right, last pack. All right, what do you want to see? I know it's probably not in the set, and I just I want to see a milk tank I... as a GX. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be funny. I want to see another uh, Rainbow Rare or something. Full art nice. secret rare. All right, let's sweet. see. Let's see. Oh, Deoxys. Not bad. That's still a good card. And some energy. What do we got here? Sky Pillar. Dunsparce! Everyone's favorite Pokemon. Alright, so we definitely have our winner for today. You yep. know, it was a decent box. I mean, yeah. like, we'll... let's go through all the foils again. A Beast Ball. Honestly, the foiling, like this reverse foil process, it's so cool looking. Yeah, it, it, it is. It's, it just makes, it pops the card so well. And it just adds like that extra layer. It, it's it's kind of, the fact that it's kind of watermarked, like, mm. it pops out. And man, it looks so cool in the fighting types. It almost looks like a, uh, like a baked silicon chip or something. Yeah. This TV or my reporter. next tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> this is just gorgeous. That's TV reporter, right? Yeah. What does it do? Draw three cards, then discard a card from your hand. If you have no cards in your deck, you can't play this card. Well, that seems reasonable. Yeah. So it's basically faithless looting, except you can't flash it back. Essentially. Ooh, he's cool looking. We didn't look at his GX attack. Crosscut GX. If your Pokemon's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, this attack does 100 more damage? What? Whoa, 200 damage. That's insane. That should knock out most things. Not himself, though. No. The prisms are gorgeous. Whoa, that is really pretty, though. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ooh, Blaziken GX. He is super cool looking. 
that's the uh, that's the Pokemon that I took through most of the last video game. Nice. Uh, I chose him. Uh, well, I chose I think Flinken mm -hmm. is his uh, first stage, and he's he's just a beast. Mm -hmm. His prison cards are really pretty. Yeah, that one's that one's really nice. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you guys at home can see this, but like as uh, as Bo's reflecting it, all I'm getting is this like rainbow just being picked up by the lighting. More another fighting uh, one. That. <laughs> That one looks like it's walking when you're doing that. That's cool. Nope, oh, this was the foil. Get out of there. Get out of here. <laughs> Mr. Mime GX. Let's see his ability. Magic events, or magic evens. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's attacks if that attack damage is exactly 20, 40, 60. So it shuts down all even numbers. That's really strong. Yeah. Like, we're seeing a lot of even numbers with these attacks, too. There's the other one. Yeah. The brick. <laughs> the brick. <laughs> Literal brick house. Yep. And Torchic. Well, let's not forget our boy. That is... That rainbow rare is just like, so pretty. It is. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us for our pack opening video. Uh, check us out next time. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe.